Hey guys, so it's Alex here, and today I will be giving a class guide upon the Arch Paladin class. So, first off, we're gonna talk about how to obtain this class. So you do slash join Dark Throne Hub, you join this area, and there are two ways to obtain it. One is if you own the Paladin class, which is a legend only class, or if you're a non member, there's another way. So, first off, you're gonna be talking to Artix here, it would be Arch Paladin. And there, here's there's two different ways. If you have Paladin class, you're going to be doing this quest set, which I have completed already, so it doesn't show. And if you are a non-member and do not own Paladin class, you'll be clicking on this one and do whatever the quest set for that is. And then after you have completed each and every quest, you'll be able to obtain the class by going back here, clicking on shop, and right here. It will be free, you can just click on it, buy, and you can also get the cape as well. That is quite nice. Now I'll be demonstrating to you guys what this class can do. So, the reason is I'm changing where I'm fighting due to the way the skill set works and I'll explain it in a bit later. So, we're going to look at its stats right now. Attack power of 315, spell power of 719, hit 94.9, haste 21.93, critical 16.09, evasion 19.3. Rank 4 passes are Restitution, which reduces incoming damage by 20%. Quite nice there. Overwhelming Light, your heals are 20% more potent, so they're stronger. And your Rank 10 passive is you do 20% more damage in general. Very nice. The enhancements I suggest on this class now is Full Wizard, because your last skill is heavily reliant upon Wizard. Also, your 3 skill, you know, it's based upon your magical damage, so you can heal higher. But, you know, there's that. Okay, now we're going to look at its 2 skill. 2 skill is called Commandments. 10 mana, 5 second cooldown, you hit up to 3 targets, this is a ranged ability. And what it does is reduces your target's damage by 2%, and their dodge chance by 2%, crit chance 2%, crit amount, hit chance 2%, and they also start taking 2% more damage. Now this might not seem as much, but... This lasts to 100 seconds, so don't worry about it fading away. And stacks up to 50, meaning everything I just said, so your their damage, their dodge, chance, crit chance, crit amount, hit chance, yeah, they're going to get that decreased by 100%. Plus, they, they're going to take 100% more damage if you stack this up to 50. So that's insane. This also applies a small damage over time, which stacks up to 5. And this also does bonus damage to undead, which I will demonstrate later after all the skill sets. Here we go. So all I do is unleash a blinding light of destiny from the air, and that hits up the three targets. And that's pretty much all it does. It's a decent ability, it does an okay amount of damage. And yeah, it's very flashy. On to its next skill, its 3 skill. This one is called the Hymn of Light, 40 mana 10 second cooldown. This heals up to 5 allies, increases their endurance and defense by 20% for 6 whole seconds. Boom. And that is it. Quite a simple ability. Next one is now called Righteous Seal, 30 mana 15 second cooldown. All this does is you're gonna do a type of ritual, which it applies upon three targets, and this seals their power away. So, what it does is reduces your opponent's damage by 90%, and also puts you in the ritual, so you're gonna get reduced damage, but not as much. You're still gonna do at least 50% of damage. But that is it. And this lasts for 10 whole seconds. So here we go. This applies a rune on the ground, and boom. Now we're all gonna be doing less damage. I'll be doing 50%, they'll be doing only 10%. Quite a good trade-off, if you ask me. This makes the class very tanky, and also to the point where they the monsters might even start healing you. That's how strong it gets. Okay, now on to its last skill, which is called Sacred Magic Eden. 70 mana, 35 second cooldown. This just does a lot of damage. It is your nuke. So, this is based upon how many stacks of commandments you have, so your 2 skill. This caps up are caps out at 5 stacks. So if you want to make the most of this skill, get 5 stacks, use the skill. Easy. And now the thing about this last skill is it, it consumes the stacks of commandment. Now, since it consumes it, be careful when you're using this class because you have to remember all the secondary or side effects that the 2 skill can apply. 
you know, lowering their crit chance damage, increasing your damage. If you use this last skill, all those effects will be removed. So you gotta be very careful. Also, once you use this skill, you become exhausted and you cannot give stacks of commandment. Meaning you will not be able to give any secondary effects to the monster to help your team or yourself. So that's quite of a big letdown, or I guess con of this skill. But, you know, it's a nuke. Great. <laughs> this also has a 20% chance to stun undead for 3 whole seconds. So here we go. Boom. And there it is. So it does a big amount of damage, and it's not something to laugh about. So I'll be trying that again, just so you guys can actually see it actually hitting all three people instead of them just dodging it. So once more time, boom. And it can crit by the way, and it can be dodged and missed. So it's not guaranteed in any way. Now I will be showing you guys how this works upon the undead. So I'll be doing slash join pirates because that is the classic way to fight the undead for me at least. So, your two skill is going to be doing more damage, and your last skill has a chance to stun them. So these are the two skills that do have an effect on the undead. So here we go, I do my two skill, and notice the major increase in damage. It's quite big. I believe it is three times as much, due to I was only doing 300 before, and now I'm doing like 800 or so non-crit. So yeah, it's quite a difference. And now I'll be demonstrating to you guys how to use this class in a solo. Farming, a supporting role, and PvP. Alright, so for the soloing portion of this class, so I'm going to be fighting these monsters which are extremely strong, like I'm not even going to joke around. I will show you guys the stats of these monsters, like these monsters are pretty insane. So this is the dread avatar I'm about to fight. This one does roughly 1350 damage to me, and to 1650, so these monsters are insane. Let me just tell you guys that right away. Now, how do you approach these monsters with Arch Paladin? Well, Arch Paladin is the best class in soloing right now in the game. What you want to do is start with your 4 skill, and then start doing your 2 skill as much as you can. Why? Because your 4 skill is going to reduce their damage by 90%, so they're only going to be doing 10%. And also, you're going to have to be super careful when, like, just, you know, just constantly keep doing that. It's gonna feel slow, and then you're gonna realize, wait, no other class in the game can actually do this because every other game or class in the game will get destroyed. And when you're soloing, you never use your last skill because that will for sure guarantee the resetting of your stacks. And if you do that, you're gonna be kind of in a pickle. So yes, that's all you're gonna wanna do. And now, yeah, that's it for soloing. I'm going to demonstrate to you guys how much this guy actually does, so... Because, you know, you just do that over and over until it eventually dies, and you guys can notice that my health was, like, decently well, right? Let's just demonstrate with, like, a random class how strong this monster actually was when I was fighting it. Let's use Stone Crusher, alright? It got stunned, actually. That's... I'm just trying to let it hit me. And there it is. I take around 1.5k. I do my 4 skill, you know, take reduced damage. And notice how much damage it's still going to do to me. It's still 700. So that really does show how strong Arch Paladin is in soloing. So yeah, <laughs> it's insane. Alright, so now for farming, it's quite simple. All you do is do your 2 skill, you know, 2 skill. You can use your 4 skill to like kill them real quick. Because your 4 skill does quite a bit of extra damage. And of course, you have your last skill, which is your nuke, and you just kind of use that whenever it's up, so just like that. Depending on how much health they have, if they have like, let's say 11k health, you might want to do like one stack or two stacks of commandment, and then do your last skill, because that's how you're going to maximize the most damage. But that's how I use this class in farming. There is also another way in which you just never use your fourth skill, because you're going to do 50% less damage. But honestly, it does quite a bit of damage, so I don't see too big of a difference on it. But yeah, there's that. Okay, so in using this class in a supporting role, all you have to do is just spam your 2 skill. And then heal them. That's all you do. You just do your 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 until it's 50 stacks. And then you press 3. You can use your 4 skill, 
because all it's gonna do is it's gonna make you do 50% less damage and make a monster do 90% less damage and it will not affect your teammates so you can also do that skill so you're mostly just doing it's nearly the same thing as if you are soloing the monster but it's literally the same thing but I just wanted to make sure no one uses or for no one to use their last skill if they're doing a supporting role or soloing because you do not want to use lose those sacks they are quite precious so yeah if when you're supporting this is how it should look like notice how he's healing me that's pretty depressing for the monster but that's how you should be supporting it's just insane so there you go okay so now for PvP all we have to do is there's a couple ways of doing this you only want to use your force skill if you're being attacked so by like a, a p couple people so like I'm just gonna do my two skill on that guy and then do my five skill because that applies one stack of my commandment and you know it's better than null stacks that's what I tend to think of it as so yeah I'm just gonna constantly there it is so what I should have done right there is do my force skill before that had happened I didn't realize he was a naval commander but I'll just do this for a little while to demonstrate how the class works yeah what I should have done there is do my force skill I didn't realize he could instantly one shot me that was a mistake upon my part so here's another arch paladin I'm gonna do my force skill make sure so he did his last skill right there and I literally took zero damage he's dodging everything due to um the two skill which doesn't really change it by much it only changes it by two percent every time he applies a stack okay so hopefully I can hop through the room okay there it is looks like there's some people over here because our restores just died so once again I'm just gonna do my two and then five I missed it so I'm gonna do my four skill so he cannot apply damage he can only do 10% damage right now he's dead and there it is Yeah, I'll keep this going for a bit more so people can understand, you know, the concept of the class. I'm gonna wait until my cooldowns are up. There we go. I don't have any cooldowns, so I did with my... F I went with my force skill there to do a bit more damage. And I believe he's just gonna keep trying to run away from me. And he should be dead. There we go. Okay. Also be sure, if you're in Blood Gibraltar, to be attacking... Okay, there's... If those people will hop back in, I might have to... Okay. I'm doing my four skill there to take way less damage. I'm, I got stunned, so I might die. I, yeah. Notice how tanky I am, actually. That's, if you guys notice how many people were actually on me, that was four people, and that's quite a bit. So there's a, okay, so I'm in a pickle right now. I'm gonna hope there's at least one restore over here that I can hit. There is none. Okay, they're all being killed, which is very unfortunate. Okay, I'm gonna just do my two, three skill there. It's better to have full health and no mana than to have little health with barely anything, because this class gains um, mana decently well, so. I am pretty much perma stunned. Yeah, so notice my mana's already back up to a decent amount. Right now, all I have to do is auto attack and my. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna do it once on him and then heal. So there we go, that was decent. So yeah, you just gotta figure out how to use this class in a unique way. You know, there's always every... I can't... Visually, you guys can see what I'm doing, but my thinking process is hard to explain every single detail in which you have to do. Because each scenario is different. So this guy... Um, I don't have mana to do my last skill, so all I'm gonna do is do my commandments. Get those stacked up a little bit more. I get one more auto attack, and then I can do my last skill, and I nuke them all, and they're both dead right here. I'm gonna do a quick kill to save my teammate. Two skill there to apply it once more. This guy's a Chunin. He can actually do a lot of damage so he already applied his three skill upon me making me miss every move for a certain duration. Spinning Dragon makes my next attack do zero damage so I can't do anything necessarily. I am just gonna run away for now until it's off me. Okay now it's off me. I'm gonna Get, there we go. I tried to get one more auto attack to get the hill off. He blinded me, making me miss or decreasing my accuracy by 50%, so I cannot hit him. So it's very tough for me. So notice how I miss both skills. Yeah. 
Paralyzing one makes me... Okay, this is really tough. I might just... Yeah, I'll just stop the PvP here, because right there, I literally got blinded forever. So that was a very unfortunate, but there's that. That's how I use the class in PvP. I tried to make it a bit longer so you guys get the feel of what I'm thinking. So yes, there it is. Okay, now for my final review of Arch Paladin class. So how does this class par with everything else? Well, for soloing, it is the best soloing class in the game by far. Like, literally by far. It can solo the hardest monsters in the game, like Tower of Doom 10. That boss that does like tons of damage. Yeah, this class is the only class that can solo that. So this class is no laughing matter. It can solo bosses that just do ridiculous amounts of damage, like 2000 damage, auto attack. That's why this class is so strong. It's got sustain. It's got damage that eventually stacks up. We've got so much debuff, so much defense. Like, what the heck? This class is just stacked on it. It's so strong. 10 out of 10 for soloing. Farming. Well, this class isn't the best in farming due to its lack of damage. But, you know, due to its recent buff, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Because, you know, your nuke is now only 35 seconds instead of 60, which is nice. Your 2 skill damage got buffed a bit. Your 4 skill damage got buffed a bit. Cooldown got reduced a bit. It feels super nice to use, but it probably isn't the best or optimal class to use for so farming. But it is still very nice, so 7 out of 10. Also has sustain, so you're not going to die anytime soon. And the mana regeneration is beautiful when farming. And now for supporting. This is a new rating that I'm starting to give, and I feel like it should be put upon all classes. But supporting on this class is actually a 10 out of 10. I think of it as... I'm not sure if I should say this, but I feel like it's the best supporting class in the game if you're fighting very hard monsters. If you're just fighting like a low tier monster like has 100,000 health or something like that, or under 500k, this class probably won't be the best compared to Stone Crusher, Bard, and a couple others. But for monsters above a million health and in which you can get your stacks going, this class just offers so much for people and I think that's where it excels. I will give it a 10 out of 10 due to it has amazing healing. The way it reduces your target's damage is just one of a kind. And the, all the things you can do for your team, increasing their damage, decreasing enemy damage, decreasing their dodge, decreasing their hit, decreasing literally everything possible, is just insane. So it is a 10 out of 10. And now for PvP. PvP is where I've been debating a lot. I've used this class quite a bit. And I think the mana is great for this class in PvP. You auto attack and you actually get a lot back. And there's so many clutch plays you can do on this class, which is so fun to do. And just very strong. Like, people just see a nuke out of nowhere and they're like, Oh, Arch Paladin, hello there. Or where you're about to, let's say you're a Pyromancer or something, you're about to do a nuke and they do your force skill and you're like, My nuke did 100 damage. Well, that's awkward. This class is just so strong right now in PvP. For me right now, I will give this class an 8.5 out of 10 for PvP. There are some things that it lacks because it's 5 skill, you know, it is 70 mana, which is still quite hard to achieve or attain during PvP, and that is quite a big problem. But besides that, everything else on this kit, you can clutch, do so many clutch things. It doesn't have any reflecting moves like, you know, Pyromancer or Blazebinder, Artifact Hunter, you know, like that. But it does have quite a good skill set in which can counteract that by, you know, decreasing their damage and then sustaining long enough so you can apply damage upon them, you know, until it phase. And there's so many things you can do with this class, so 8.5 out of 10 is what I am giving it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Arch Paladin class guide. I'm sorry it took so long. The reason I waited is because I wanted all the buffs to go live upon the servers. Because the first day this was released, I felt like, you know, it needed some buffs. And the buffs finally came, making the class super strong. So I hope you guys can understand why it took so long. But be sure to get this class, guys. It is super strong, and I guarantee you guys, you will not be disappointed. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.